Shira girl. Definitely water, like staying hydrated. Um, just, you know, having fun, like not being too worried about how dirty you are. You know, baby wipes helps, but, you know, p- perfume. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think that the most important thing is just having fun. Absolutely. Well, actually, Bethany Impress is one of my good friends. We were just, we were just talking. She, it's our last day on the tour today. She said, we don't want you to leave. Um, you know, Kevin Lyman is a, is a good friend. All the girls in production, Lisa Brownlee, Kate, who does sponsorship, everyone who works behind the scenes, they're all friends of mine. We worked for, together for years. Um, you know, then some of the, we're friends with a lot of the, the guys in the other bands, like Less Than Jake, they're on the tour all the time, you know. Um, and also bands that played my stage in the past that are back on now, like Blame Shift and those guys. And just any bands that play my stage, we get tight. So I mean, my favorite thing is being on stage and performing, like hands down. That's the payoff. I love performing. Um, but I also love to see all the other bands that I get to present on my stage. And, and you know, it makes me happy when they come up to me and they say, thank you so much. It's a dream come true, you know, and they really appreciate getting that opportunity. So you definitely have to, um, you know, come up with a game plan like specific to work because it's so different than any other shows or tours. Um, something that we kind of tweak the first few days is the set list because it's really important to start off like a really high energy and the song that we had that we had started off with was just kind of more chill and so we, we changed it up a little bit now we're getting better crowds. Um, so things like that, you know, the, deciding the right songs, high energy, but good set list. Um, you know, just kind of, for me, I take pride in being really different than any other band that's out here. Like, I'm, my show is a spectacle. I have dancers, I have props, I have costumes, you know, and I just, I love doing something different because kids walk by and they're like, hmm, what's this? You know, some kids are watching me and they've seen me before and they're coming to see me and some kids have never seen me before. So it's just about making an impression. Absolutely. You know what? The first day is always really, really stressful. And like, and even we took a break and then we had a first day back because we were on the West Coast and then we took a break and then it was just like the first day all over again. We went, you know, to Jersey, but you know, like as an artist, you know, you're performing and in, in your head you're thinking it's either a good show or not a good show. A lot of it depends on the crowd and if the crowd is feeling it or if they're just standing there, you know. And for me, I'd rather have a crowd that's half as big and dancing versus like a big crowd that's just like standing there, you know. But it's hot, so sometimes if they don't know you, they're not going to go crazy. But So it can be stressful, you know what I mean? Like the first day, like no matter what, you know, you're performing and you're – People are like, oh, it's a great show. But I'm thinking, oh, my God, this show is horrible. You know what I mean? Like, we pull it up, but I come off the stage not feeling so good. And then by the second day, we have an awesome show, and it's like you're high again. But, yeah, it definitely can be very, very stressful. Um, I'm going to be shooting some videos for my new singles. Um, you Ain't Heard That is my new song that's available for free download on getconquer.com slash I'm going to be partnering more with Conquer Entertainment to help them develop their platform and help sign up artists. Um, I'm going to be playing the Conquer Entertainment after party. They have a huge convention at Greensboro Coliseum, so that's going to be awesome in North Carolina. And finishing my album is like the number one thing, just like getting back, recording, because I'm, I'm doing EDM now, and I kind of change over genres, so just trying to find like, you know, the right sound. Yeah, I mean, I think that I was a little bit nervous about, you know, some of the fans not kind of staying with me because, you know, going from punk rock to dance music can be different. But in general, the response has been awesome. Like, I get a lot of old school fans come out to me saying, you know, we still love what you're doing now, so that's cool. Um, and it's just a different thing. You know, it's like rather than having a band, you know, being solo, you're kind of more on your own. You're, you're really putting yourself out there. So if it fails, you're like, uh. But I got my crew. I got my dancers. I got a DJ. So it's not just me. And, you know, I love it. It's really fun. That is the hope. I'm going to kind of switch over as much as I love Warped Tour. Yeah, I definitely have to kind of transition into doing that. I've been to a winter music conference in Miami, and that's really fun. Um, so that would probably be my favorite. But there's a bunch more that I haven't gotten to yet that I want I want to check out. Um, well, you can get, like, we're releasing the first few singles uh, this summer. And every we're actually going to do a free download every week which started this week on my Get Conquer profile. Um, but the full album, I can't say, because I don't want to say it'll be out this year. I, I actually think it's going to be probably the beginning of next year to be more realistic, 2015. It'll be out, but, you know, got to do it right, so. I don't know, like, I actually like to practice my own songs, you know, and it's like, that's a good time to practice, so I'll be like, up, down, get low, ready, set, that's how we roll. That's how we roll, that, that, that's how we roll. And then we, like, dance to the, to the cell phone ringer, that's fun, too. Thanks for the time. Can I go back and wash myself now? Thanks.